Just uh, Grayson really coming to his own. I mean, it was. Uh, he's never gone eight innings and to go eight innings like that. Um, mid to upper 90s fastballs, strikes, no walks. You know, so so huge. And he threw the ball good in Boston, too. It was just kind of unlucky there were that, those conditions this last start. But that's the most in command I've seen him with all of his pitches. Uh, it's an aggressive team, and he really made good pitches early in the count and did a nice job putting guys away when he had a chance. So just absolutely outstanding. I know it sounds like a trite question, but how big was this win? Well, it's big because we haven't been swinging the bat for the last four games. And, and for us to, for Gunner, I mean, for, for Gunner to do what he did with, you know, if Tyler Glass now is elite starting pitcher in this game and, and um, lead up the game with a single like right away and then him get the huge homer there to, to kind of really give us that hit that we haven't had the last few games. Um, and to t get the lead, that was nice to have. We haven't had a lead in a while, it feels like. And um, let kind of Grayson do what he does. You've, let, you've talked a lot about Grayson's confidence since he's come back up. For him as a rookie to go out in that circumstance and do what he did, just what does that kind of say about him? Yeah, I mean, he's a tough kid. And that was a tough pill for him to swallow with all the expectations this year. And uh, give him a ton of credit for dealing with that, looking in the mirror a little bit. Understanding that he has, uh, there's some work to do. Not a finished product. Still got some work to do, but he is going to be an excellent starting pitcher in this game for a long time. We're lucky, um, and he's, you know, there's, uh, he's a warrior. I mean, he's he's he really is a great competitor. With Gunner, he went first pitch swing. It wasn't just leading off the game. First pitch swing on his first two at bats. Does I don't know, that aggressiveness kind of stand out to you from a rookie to, to set the tone like that? Well, he's just. I mean, what he's doing as a as a rookie is pretty amazing. Really, all year I've just been so impressed by him and and uh, his physical tools, but how hard he plays, his mentality, how aggressive he is. Like you said, um, how about the plays he made at shortstop in the hole? I mean, those that's not those aren't routine plays by any means. Um, so the way he runs the bases, it's for 20, being 22 years old playing on this type of stage in late September. Or, Playing for stuff, it's uh, it's really fun to watch. During this time of year, there's always talk about how important experience is. How impressive is it that your two youngest players did what they did tonight in this game? They stepped up, and we had a lot of guys step up, but those two guys for sure. And um, they have great, they're high character, ultra competitive guys. They have no fear. They think they belong and they think they should succeed and they're really hard on themselves and sometimes that's to the detriment of both of them. But they'll get over that as they mature. Um, but they're just, you know, like I said, I mean, I can say they're, they're just unbelievably competitive and really, really want to win and it matters to them. Brandon, you guys are now in position to clinch the playoff spot tomorrow. Just given what your tenure here has kind of been like, how exciting a proposition I'm not is talking that? about it till I'm not saying the word. Brandon, uh, you know, <laughs> Part of the conventional thinking about young teams is they kind of don't know what they can't do. I mean, and that sort of felt, feels like what your team has, has done all year long. You know, this, this, these last four games tied for the longest losing stretch of the season. Was there ever any worry for you that like a wobble kind of might take the blinders off for, for your young guys and just how hard they've been competing, especially in the second half of the season? Um, I think, well, that's first thing, you know, Play 162 and have a four-game losing streak as your longest. I think it says a lot about our club. <laughs> um, season's not over, so we can. There's still games we play, so let's not get ahead of ourselves. But um, this far into the season and having not that many long stretches of not playing very good baseball is amazing, and it shows just the character of our guys. It shows how they come up. To, they come out to the park ready to play every game. They, they're expecting to win when they come to the ballpark. Um, and we talked about a couple of young guys, but we had some veteran at bats tonight that, that was Matt. I mean, Aaron Hicks has taken really good at bats for us, and he keeps the line moving, and, and, and Frage with some big hits tonight, too. So, um, you know, Ryan O'Hearn has been incredible for us all year. Um, but I think it's a really nice mix, honestly, and, and, and our young guys play with absolutely no fear. Can you explain that, like, not having a longer losing streak than that? Is it, is it pitching? Is it success in close games? I 
What keeps you from having to close streaks? I, I'm not really sure. I mean, I think... Uh, I, I don't know. I think that they're... I think our guys just expect to win when they come to the ballpark and haven't... A lot of our guys have lost a lot in this league and they have and they have a lot of confidence now. And I think last year gave a lot of guys in our clubhouse a lot of confidence. I think our young guys kind of don't maybe know, know better. They're just playing, playing their butts off every single night. I think we had Batista closing games. That was... Um, won us a lot of games. And um, so... It's kind of just been team effort.